everyone. Today I'm going to be setting up my IKEA Detoff for my dwarf hamster named Yue. For those of you that don't know, the Detoff is a glass cabinet from IKEA which you can modify into a home for your hamster. Here in the UK, the general recommended size living space among the hamster community is 620 square inches of floor space. The Detoff actually measures out to approximately 950 square inches of floor space, making it a great home for your pet for the entirety of their life. I've had UA for around 10 months now. I did make a lot of mistakes in the beginning and there was a lot that I learned along the way. So it did inspire me to make these videos that may be helpful to some people or people may just find enjoyable to watch. I hope you all enjoy my first video. Please like, comment and subscribe down below to follow my journey. So on the top of the Detoff, I have these DIY lids to stop her from escaping. There are a lot of videos on YouTube for tutorials on how to make them if you're interested. Then I'm going to give the glass a clean with the Clean and Safe Pet Disinfectant Spray from Pets at Home. I would usually use kitchen towel to clean this but I didn't have any on the day that I filmed it so I did actually just use some toilet roll. It was a little bit bitty um, so I probably wouldn't recommend it, I would just use the kitchen towel if you've got it there. The next thing I like to do is kind of a range where I'm going to put everything once all the bedding and things are in there. I like to do this beforehand just so I can see how it's going to look once it's finished and I don't have to worry about moving any bedding or any sand or anything if I change my mind. Most of the items that I've got in here at the moment are actually from Pets at Home, apart from the wooden wheel that you can see there, which I got from Zoo Plus. I wanted to go for quite a natural look to start with, just because mostly I like the aesthetic of it, apart from the flying saucer that you can see in the background there, which is purple. I personally would have liked to take this out, but she really likes it and she's always running on it, so I didn't really want to take it away from her. But if I had my way, I'd probably not have that one in there. So now I have a rough idea of where I want everything to go, I like to add in some of her old bedding so that it still smells like her. This just helps to make the cleaning out process a little bit less stressful as she's not going back into an environment that smells completely different. The bedding that I use at the moment is the Carefresh paper bedding in the colour Natural. It's a soft and safe substrate for your hamster and it's not going to cause them to get any respiratory issues or anything like that. actually like to use two different types of substrate so here I've got the aspen bedding which is a safe alternative to standard wood shavings which can cause respiratory issues in some hamsters. At the moment she seems to like sleeping in this little house so I'm just going to add a little bit of care fresh in there for her to burrow into and keep her nice and warm. Okay, so one of my favourite things guys is this little seagrass tunnel, she absolutely loves it, she'll chew it, she'll run around in it, she'll lay in it, and I love that it's got the front entrance so I can see her when she's like running about and stuff. To attach her water bottle at the moment I'm currently using some rope just because I haven't got my industrial velcro yet but eventually that is what it will be held up by. 
I like to give her a water bottle as well as a water dish just so she's got easy access to water at all times and she can choose which one she wants to go to. So for her sand bath I just use the desert sand from Pets at Home. I prefer using this one to the Tiny Friends Farm one that I used to use. You just get a lot more for your money and it's not as dusty, it's a lot softer. Once I've smoothed all the sand out, I'm just going to add in her wheel and flying saucer. The wheel that she has is the 21cm wooden Trixie wheel from Zoo Plus. This is fine for the smaller species, but if you do own a Syrian hamster, they do need a 28cm wheel to stop their backs from arching and being uncomfortable. Then it's time to add in her chew toys. Hamsters' teeth are constantly growing, so it's really important that you provide them with things that they can chew on to keep their teeth worn down and prevent them from overgrowing. The food mix that I use is the Mr. Johnson's Supreme Hamster and Gerbil Mix. I find that it's a lot better variety than the Harry Hamster that I used to feed. I like that it's got mealworms in it and a little bit more protein. The extras that I'm adding in today are the Woodlands Floral Feast so that she can do a little bit of foraging. The next is going to be the Rosewood Natural Shrimp Cookies as she really seems to enjoy them. And finally I'm going to add in one of her favourite treats at the moment which is the berry flavoured niblots. Let me know in the comments below if your hamsters like these as well because she goes absolutely crazy for them. And there we have it, that is my Ikea Detoff hamster setup. Like I said I've gone for more of a natural theme this time but I definitely will be changing it up a little bit and doing some different styled themes in the future. Keep watching for some footage of UA exploring her new setup.